Hey y'all, it's April from The Possible Diet, and today I'm going to show you how to make reduced carb pancakes. Um, I'm not going to lie, this is a quick and dirty video. I'm down to the wire, I had a busy 4th of July. <laughs> it's kind of a miracle that this is even up on YouTube. So <laughs> right now I am heating my pan. Um, pancakes are very, very tricky. They're very dependent upon like your stove, your pan, all that kind of stuff but um, I've tested these pancakes and they turned out fine. Just be aware that like, you know, you might have to have a sacrificial pancake when you make them because they cook differently from uh, full carb pancakes. So my favorite pancake is actually <laughs> the pancakes you can make with a box of Jiffy cornbread mix. The recipe is on the box and I just add blueberries to them. But those are not only high carb, they are high sugar and they are very, very highly processed pancakes. So I wanted to make a pancake that was in the spirit of that pancake, but like less carbs, you know, more fiber, less processed foods. So these are pancakes from scratch. Um, they have a little bit of cornmeal in them. And um, there's a couple of tricks that I do to keep them fluffy enough to enjoy. So you're gonna start with a quarter cup of coconut flour. Coconut flour absorbs moisture. A half a cup of almond flour. Um, a fourth cup of cornmeal, and it's this. It's not masa harina, it's not grits, it's yellow cornmeal, um, just ground corn. Um, a teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of soda, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Um, and then I use two tablespoons of smart sugar. Um, you can use, you know, erythritol or allulose, anything that's like a one-to-one. -one. What I like about smart sugar is it's totally um, fine-grained. It's very fine-grained, so it dissolves nicely. Um, but if you're making these for your family and you're, you don't want to, you don't want your family to have to eat like erythritol, smart sugar has half the sugar of regular sugar, um, and it tastes just as sweet. So whisk those all together um, in a bowl and then in a separate bowl um, you want to beat your egg whites until ooh, until they are um, soft peaks so once you have your dry ingredients um, all mixed together your egg whites whipped to soft peaks then you want to take two tablespoons of melted butter and make sure it's like cool to room temperature a half a cup of buttermilk. The egg yolks from your egg whites, so three egg yolks. And then a half a teaspoon of vanilla. I usually just use the cap. Because I like vanilla. Whisk that together. Add in your flour mixture. And then fold in your egg whites. This is a trick that um, if you've ever looked up um, Japanese pancakes or Japanese omelets on social media uses to kind of lighten pancake batter. They don't need to be like stiff peaks. You're not making royal icing, but I find that it does make a difference um, when you whip the egg whites separately. And make sure that they're, you know, Blend it in, but don't overmix it. You don't want to deflate all that air. You just beat it, beat it into them. And then I add half a cup of fresh blueberries. Um, you can use frozen blueberries. I like fresh. And you can certainly add more blueberries if you like more blueberries in your pancakes. But I'm telling you, the combination of blueberries with cornmeal is like, it is just something. That's really good.
So once you have your pan hot and it's ready, um, just get a little spoon. I like silver dollar pancakes, so I make um, little ones. You wanna make sure that you spread the batter out. Um, I use like maybe three, four max tablespoons of batter. But how thick you make them and how fast they cook is gonna depend on how hot your griddle is um, and uh, how, how thin you spread it and how much batter you put on it. You might have to do some test pancakes. I would not call these pancakes fragile, but you do wanna make sure that you have like a big enough spatula. This is my crate and barrel. I've had this for probably like a decade. It's like my favorite pancake spatula. It might actually be called a pancake spatula. Also excellent for grilled cheese. So watch your pancakes when they are dry on top, almost dry on top, and you start to see bubbles coming up through them like that, almost like a, like a barely underdone chocolate chip cookie. They're ready. You gotta be careful. And like I said, they're not, they're not fragile, but it does take some finesse, especially if you're trying to cook three in one pan. You know, they say that when you're vulnerable, you give other people permission to be vulnerable. So it's okay if your pancakes look like that. It's okay. You can say, hey, the home chef in the YouTube video could barely flip her pancakes either. Cut me some slack. If you want a proper how to flip pancakes like a pro video, this is not it. But I promise that for the carb count on these pancakes, they taste better than a mix and they could pass for regular carb pancakes. Um, and most of the carbs just comes from like the buttermilk and the cornmeal, so are worth it. A beautiful, beautiful short stack of reduced carb cornmeal blueberry pancakes. These are so good. You're gonna love them. Enjoy. Look, I'm not trying to prove anything. I'm just saying, when there's only one pancake in the pan, I'm not that bad at this.